two Essex County programs meet on the tail end of the regular season. 7-6 Milburn hosting 10-4 Montclair Kimberly. The Cougars down to only 13 players on the active roster today. Both teams are seeded in the upcoming state tournament. It was a slow start for both, but Milburn would prevail first. Andrew Cantor buries the bounce shot. Some brief confusion at first, but it would be confirmed. Milburn and MKA tied at one after the first quarter. Montclair Kimberly had a very talented goalie in the cage. Jake Pryor goes down low. That's a tough save. He would give Milburn fits all afternoon long. The Cougars offense would find their footing in the second. They attack the cage. Evan Grossman sneaks that through in a tight spot. Then their top two seniors connect. Jake Waldman to Rollins Heath. It's in the same spot. MKA makes it a 3-1 game. Milburn would come roaring back in thanks to the left-hand shot of Blake Wiseman. He found lots of open space and made the Cougars pay. The Millers still trail by two goals midway through the second quarter. But MKA would end the half on a high note. Jake Waldman puts his defender through the spin cycle. What a goal. How about another look? Montclair Kimberly battling through the rain. They hold a 6-3 lead on Milburn going into a wet halftime intermission. Third quarter, the Cougars rolled. Evan Grossman looks to pass, but he keeps it himself. Good choice. Montclair Kimberly up 9-4 going into the fourth quarter. And like we mentioned before, Jake Pryor, he had one heck of a game. Another stop right on the front doorstep. The junior has over 160 saves so far this season. The defense held their own on the back end, and the offense kept chipping away. The Cougars go around the horn. Waldman finishes it off with the goal. It was a memorable day for the senior. He gets an assist on this goal by OB Sadransk, and it's his 200th career point. Montclair Kimberly will celebrate that personal achievement for Jake Waldman alongside a team victory. 11-6 is the final. MKA, now 11-4, has one final date with Del Barton before they begin play in the non-public B bracket. Milburn drops to 7-7 seven seven in their regular season finale. Reporting from Milburn, I'm Jay Cook with JerseySportsZone.com.